I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand few basic concepts about statistics. Let's begin by explaining the three measures of central tendency. Now can you list me what are the three measures of central tendency? At time we also say averages. Right. So, so what are the three measures of averages when we are discussing statistics? Well, these three are mean, mode, and median, right? They are mean, mode, and median. So these are the basic three measures of central tendency. So when we talk about mean, what does that mean? So mean is also referred to as arithmetic average, right? Normally, to calculate mean, what we do is we find sum of all the elements. Let's say x is the element. Then the mean, which is normally shown as bar on the top, will be sum of all the elements divided by the number of elements right so that is how we normally will calculate mean now what is mode mode is most commonly occurring or most frequent you could have more than one mode right so it's important to note you could have one or more Now what is mean? What is median? Now median is the middle value in the data. So median is normally referred to as the middle value, the central value, middle value of the data when it is arranged. in increasing or decreasing order. Is it all right right now? If you have n value as odd, so there are two cases here. One is if n equals to odd number, and the other one is the total number of elements could be even. Right. So, if n is odd, let us say 9, 11, something like that, then you have unique middle value, right? So, in that case, the data element is in the group. at the center. So it is it is a particular element right in the center. But in case n is even, in that case we may have to find mean of two values. Right? So in that case we have to find mean of two values. And uh, those two values could be around the point where it is n plus 1 divided by 2, right? So, so the mean, I mean in the sequence, the position, so median is basically the central position. So we are looking at, at central position. So let's say if we have 9 elements, if n is equals to 9, in that case, position for median will be what? It will be 9 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 10 divided by 2, 5. So fifth position element will be the median. But in case we have n equals to 10, in that case, 10 plus 1 divided by 2 is 
5.5. So we are looking at an element or at the position between 5th and 6th position, right? So midway between 5th and 6th position. So in this case, what do we do? We add these two data elements and find their average, divide by 2. So that is how you find median when you have even number of values or when the total number of elements in the data are even, right? So with this basic, let's move on and we'll take a few examples where we'll find mean mode and median for discrete and continuous data under different circumstances. I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that will help you to prepare for your test. Thank you and all the best.